All right, thanks, Pat. It's now 632. News Channel 3 is your back to school headquarters. It's the first day of school for the students at the Palm Springs Unified School District. Students and teachers will be back in the classrooms ready to get the school year going after a year of distance and hybrid learning. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez joins us live right now from Cathedral City with what students can expect this morning. I bet a lot of nerves going on there, Crystal. Good morning, Angela. Definitely the nerves are going to be high. I remember my first day of school. I was always nervous, but I was always so excited to be back. And that's going to be the case for students across Palm Springs Unified. Here at we're at Cathedral City Elementary School, and at 840, the classrooms are no longer going to be empty, but filled with students who didn't have the same opportunity last year to have their first day back in person. Now, while things are going to it's kind of normal, but not really. There's going to be guidelines. Classrooms are going to look different. Here with me, I have Brenda Santana, and she's a principal. And this is your first year. What do you look forward to the most as students are going to be coming back? We're just looking forward to seeing students and their smiling little faces. And so uh, it took a lot of hard work for you guys to make this pretty much happen and to follow all those guidelines by the state. Who do you guys have to thank? Absolutely. It took a... Uh... It was a team effort for sure. We have um, our custodians, our nutrition services, our office staff, our teachers, and everyone came together to just make this happen. Now, what do you remember from your first day of school or from being a teacher in past years? What is the most exciting thing you would say? The most exciting thing is just getting your classroom ready and making sure you have all of the supplies and materials and everything so that students can come in and, and just smile. So if you're headed to school, back to school today, make sure that you guys are following those speed limits as there's going to be children across the district heading back. And they're going to be excited, so you need to look out for them. Make sure your student has the masks. If they don't, then you, they'll have them in the classroom for them as well. We'll be having live coverage all morning long. Make sure you guys stay with us at KSQ.com. Reporting Cathedral City, Crystal Menes, News Channel 3. Yeah, I'm sure those nerves compounded by the unusual time they had last year as well. Mm. Good luck to everybody for Stay at school. Thanks, Crystal.